Hello and welcome to our Treble D Studio House series. In these tutorials we'll be showing you how to quickly create a professional 3D SketchUp model for a modern house. In this video we'll demonstrate how to import a scanned sketch into Treble D so you can build the model straight on top of it. On the Treble D website you can download an image of a blank grid that matches exactly what you see here on the Treble D screen. You can also get coloured floor plans that show all the Treble D modules. They're free PDF files and they can be printed out to scale. They come in either metric or feet and inches. So using the plans as a reference you can design a building on a blank grid, then sketch it up by hand and import it into Treble D. This sketch has been drawn on a blank grid and then scanned in JPEG format at 300 dpi, then saved to our computer. And just a quick word of caution, if you just import an image straight into Treble D and then try to resize it, things could get messy. SketchUp will ask you, do you want to resize the whole model? So if you get this message, choose no. If you say yes, your Treble D toilets and everything else in your model will be re resized too. So what we need to do is go to these little yellow circles, they're called scan holders. Now double click on a scan holder, it will open up a group on the scan layer called A4 scan holders. This is where we import our scan. Now go to the file tab and select import. Then we go to our chosen folder to select the scan. The scan will arrive inside the scan holder group. We place one corner in the bottom left scan holder just by clicking on the center point. Then stretch it out and hit the extents button. We then zoom into the scan holder at the top right and click in the center to place it. Every Treble D scan nominates the overall grid size in the bottom right corner. The metric one is 42.3 by 36 metres. The inches version is 144 feet by 120. Now we select the tape measure tool. The grid should be 36 metres wide. So we zoom into the bottom left corner and click around about the middle of the small corner square in between these blue lines. Then we go to the extents button and zoom into the bottom right hand corner and do the same thing. SketchUp will give us the measurement and now we type in the required measurement, the one that we want. For metric we would type in 36,000. If you're working in feet and inches, you would type in 120 feet. SketchUp will then ask, do you want to resize the active group or component? And we select yes. SketchUp will now resize the scan. We can check it with the tape measure. Each grid square should be around about 1800 or 6 feet. Now we need to adjust the location of the scan so it matches the Treble D grid. If you can't see the actual SketchUp grid from the top, take a look at the underside. This solid line, the solid grid, is the Treble D grid and the blurry one is the scan. So with the scan selected, we take the move tool and move the scan into place. Near enough is good enough. Now we go back to our model scene and there it is, looking good. And one last thing, we now need to explode the scan. This will make it easier to see so it won't go ghostly grey when we're working in another group. So we just select, right click and choose explode 
And now that's it. We can build our model straight on top of the sketch. If it's all too hard or if you just don't have the time, please feel free to contact us at Treble D. We have very modestly priced consultants who can help you out with construction drawings or any aspect of the design process. Cheers.